Hello, inquirers. Welcome to a special episode of Podcast for Inquiry. Unlike other episodes, this is not an interview. This is just going to be me talking about a subject that I am passionate about. Uh, the opinions that are expressed in these episodes do not represent the Center for Inquiry Canada, just me, Leslie Rosenblood. And the topic that I want to talk to you about today is vaccine patents. Now, to start, I want to make it clear that I am about as pro-vaccine as it comes. A couple of two and a half years ago in February 2020, I gave a public talk called Stab Everyone You Love. It was a Valentine's themed talk about the value of vaccines and that they are if one of the, if not the most effective medical interventions in our species history. I am enormously grateful that the world's scientists got together and over the course of two years, came less than two years, uh, came up with an incredibly effective COVID-19 vaccine, which has saved millions of lives worldwide. If you are not already fully vaccinated, I recommend that you do so unless you have some immunocompromised condition that would prevent you from doing that, in which case I really hope everyone around you is fully vaccinated. The topic that gets me so agitated today is not the COVID vaccine, but our collective decision, the decision of our governments to grant COVID-19 vaccine patents to the pharmaceutical companies. And this is why they did not do the research and they did not take any risk to produce these vaccines. The US government alone has given, given out approximately $40 billion for COVID vaccine research. This is done through a number of, of means, either in direct subsidies to companies, whether it's paying for clinical trials or funding the building of special manufacturing facilities. Sometimes it was in the form of guaranteed order. So if they produced a vaccine, it would be purchased by the US government, whether it worked or not. But this was done to ensure that every resource, public and private, was dedicated to addressing the worst global pandemic in a century. The most egregious case is that of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. This vaccine was developed entirely by the University of Oxford, but they did not have the manufacturing facilities to produce it at scale. So they contracted with AstraZeneca that had the lab facilities uh, that were able to produce uh, millions of doses in short order. All of this is fine, and I am fully in support of paying AstraZeneca uh, a premium so that they can make this a profitable enterprise. What I am so upset about is that we then granted AstraZeneca a patent on their effective COVID-19 vaccine, just as we did for Pfizer, just as we did for Moderna. mRNA, which is a type of vaccine, was discovered decades ago as a possible new mechanism for vaccines, and it was largely derided by the industry and the scientific establishment, And except it was defended by plucky researchers, and then after many, many years heralded as a, as a major breakthrough. What this has cost us is more than just money. By granting uh, these companies vaccines, each vaccine is going to cost, f each dose is going to cost far more than it would than if we put these out to tender and allowed any other companies that had the capability to, uh, to manufacture vaccines uh, to produce them. So it's going to cost the entire world billions upon billions upon billions of dollars extra for no reason. There was no risk taken on by the companies to earn these additional rewards, but it's far, far worse than that because these patents mean that only these companies and only their facilities are able to manufacture these vaccines, which means that we have had for the last year and a half a shortage of vaccines globally. We are not going to be able to distribute uh, vaccines to the entire global population for at least another year, and I am recording this in the summer of 2022. What if we had made the vaccines open source. We guarantee that we will buy a large number of vaccines from AstraZeneca, from Moderna, from Pfizer, and make sure that they are profitable for the investments that they had made. But then at the same time, we allow the mighty manufacturing uh, uh, capabilities of countries like Brazil, of South Africa, of Israel, even Cuba, 
to manufacture as many COVID vaccines for their own populations, as well as people in other countries around the world. By restricting the number of companies that were able to create these vaccines, we have allowed COVID to mutate in the unvaccinated population around the world that were, did not have the capability to, did not have the ability, did not have the vaccines to vaccinate their people and immunize them against COVID-19. And as a result, we have the Delta variant, the Omicron variant, and more and more variants happening worldwide. We only have one biome. It is one planet that we live on. We should be vaccinating everybody and taking, doing whatever it takes to get as many vaccines into as many arms as possible. And why we have not done this, why we have granted a monopoly on the manufacture and distribution of vaccines to a very small number of companies who either did not do the research or did the research on someone else's dime completely mystifies me. This is a horrible, horrible decision made by our governments. We'll be paying the price for decades. And in my opinion, we need to seriously review the entire purpose and implementation of our patent laws. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think. I look forward to your feedback and let me know if you want to hear more of my diatribes. You can send feedback to podcast at centerforinquiry.ca. Thanks again.